All right, welcome to another video. In this video, this is gonna be something different. This is gonna be my, my, okay, I'm gonna say this now, my opinion, but this is my top five. Roblox anime games that have mobile support. If you guys enjoyed this video, not even, man, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me backtrack. First off, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 10.4, so that's 10,400 subscribers. So if you guys do, can do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. No, you guys can see it because it's always abbreviated, always says 10.3 or 10.2, but I can see the, the live sub count. Uh, we are really close to 10.4, so you guys do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like the video, of course, no like go for this video, but just like it, you know, just like it, support, you know, it's free. And uh, yeah, let's get to the video. All right, so the first thing I want to say, all these games that you guys see on my list, I will say that again, my list are games that I've played. So most likely if you guys see a game that's not on the list, more than likely, I just haven't played the game. So um, yeah, another thing I want to say, there are a few honorable mentions I want to say, Anime of Adventures, Dimensions, and uh, All-Star Tower Defense. Those like simulator type games, Obviously, I know they're mobile supported, but thing is, those aren't really like PvP aspect at all. And like, you know, those are pretty simple games. So I'm just going to leave those off the list for now. Just put them at uh, honorable mention. So if you guys wonder why some simulators aren't on the game, that's why. Well, not on the game, on the video. That's why. But um, another thing, another big one that I'm going to leave out is Blocks Fruits. Um, Blocks Fruits is a pretty simple game. that's not really super, super like OD at, at um, um, animations. So I think for that reason, I'm just keep Blocks Fruits off because Blocks Fruits is like overall just a pretty simple game, you know. So Blocks Fruits and other like and, uh, other simulator games, those are the ones I'm going to keep off the list. But other than that, that should be all I got to announce. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. This is my opinion. So, you know, but feel free to leave in the comments what you guys think. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right. So at number five, I'm going to put Demon Fall. Now, Demon Fall was a uh, I don't know how, but I actually enjoyed Demon Fall, even though at the beginning, I kind of didn't well i can't even say that i played demon fall a lot at the beginning but i don't know it just got super repetitive but the controls itself on demon fall for mobile is actually isn't that bad the only thing that i think they should have added is actual button to attack because when you're playing mobile and on pvp there's going to be times where you want to rotate your screen around and when you rotate to like hold down on your screen to rotate your screen it makes you do an m1 and it kind of throws you all the way off so i think that's kind of like a problem i wish they had it like um a more advanced system for mobile where you guys can actually like move around your controls a little bit like customizable geo like gy like how shindo and uh project slayer has that's really the only thing that really brings it down and like i said no attack button the best mobile games are the one that gives you the ability to compete with pc players at the same level and the uh, demon fall is just not one of them like i said when you try to rotate your screen you do a, a m1 like just off the fact that you can't move your buttons around any way you want to so you gotta adjust every time you play it another thing that sets you back um rush is kind of weird honestly hitting like not even just rush, but like trying to hit a moving target on Demon Fall is kind of is like really weird because you got to go to them, hit, you got to like, like, I don't know. I can't really explain it, but in PvP, you guys know, if you guys play Demon Fall PvP, people are usually just running. So it's kind of hard to get to land that first M1. But once you do the combo, it's pretty self-explanatory. But I don't know why on mobile, it's just trying to hit a moving target on Demon Fall is just a lot harder to do than on any other game. I think it's because, like I said, I think it's because of how um when you move around you do an m1 by mistake when you probably don't even want to so i think that might be the case but i really can't tell as of right now why it's kind of trying to hit a moving target on there is kind of weird but yeah i'm putting demon fall number five because it's just certain aspects about mobile that puts you at a disadvantage compared to pc and like i said you guys will i'm pretty sure people in the comments will say mobile always has a different has a disadvantage towards pc but when you play games like project slayers or shindo you guys will see that you literally have everything a pc player has you can compete you can actually compete if you get good enough at it demon fall is not one of those games demon fall has set disadvantages that mobile has against a pc player so it kind of always puts you down and i think that's that's why number five is a good spot for demon fall it's just you know just you just have disadvantages on it all right number four i'm gonna put a sleeper this is one that probably a lot of you haven't even played before titan warfare titan warfare is probably the most advanced game i've ever played when it comes to um mobile controls i know we just got another one aut evolution that's also that's also another one but i honestly think titan warfare mobile controls are a lot better than aut evolutions i really I haven't played titan warfare in a while but when i did play it it was actually like it was one of the funnest times i've had on roblox like just all games in general i've played been wrong on roblox mobile for a long time titan warfare is probably my top three most fun games i've ever played on here and like i said titan warfare is um i'm going back to the topic that i wanted before titan warfare is one of those games where like 
there there isn't really a set disadvantage that mobile has obviously aiming is going to be a little harder but when you learn it and get it down it's, it's actually not as hard as you i mean i guess it is still kind of difficult but when you learn it down like it's not really much disadvantage that you have towards a pc player if i'm being real besides aiming but that's always going to be a thing but other than that like i said titan warfare is probably the most advanced game i've ever played that still has like a decent set of mobile controls for you that really like like i said before it doesn't really put you at a disadvantage towards a pc player at all really when you learn the game it's actually super fun really they have set buttons for you to uh do m1s which is very nice and uh yeah it's really not much for me to say i haven't played in a while so i can't really say more than i that i would want but titan warfare just from what i experienced it was really fun it was really fun it was just a really great time for mobile when they released mobiles this is probably one of my first videos that ever got over 10,000 over 10,000 views so that was like cool as well but titan warfare was actually a really good game you guys try it out all right number three another sweep another well i said sweeper another sleeper i think a reaper 2 reaper 2 actually has a good set of mobile controls the only thing that i would like to um that i would want to be fixed the buttons for mobile are like blocks and rectangles i don't think that's a good idea at all the thing that demon fall has better than reaper 2 is um is really just like the buttons being circles the circles take up less space than the rectangle does when you play reaper 2 on mobile they have set like rectangles that take up the entirety of your screen and it's very annoying but honestly reaper 2 is probably one of the most smoothest mobile games i've ever played it has set buttons for each command not like how demon fall is where you have to tap the screen to do certain things reaper 2 has actual buttons and buttons are always much better just for smoothness and um um responsiveness and uh yeah reaper 2 is probably the most consistent mobile game i've ever played to be honest with you it doesn't have much i mean from what i've played it doesn't have much like really like for real bugs to it like all of the bugs that you guys see are pretty consistent throughout so you can get it um you can um you know ad uh, adjust to it unlike project slayers where project slayers has this one thing where sometimes you get hit by a move and your sprinting goes away and it's all and it's so random it's so random but reaper 2 the bugs are so consistent that like you can adjust to it and you will like get muscle memory towards some of the bugs and it makes it a lot easier for you so yeah i think reaper 2 is a sleeper but reaper 2 in terms of mobile is honestly it's pretty fun it's, it's like i said one of the smoothest mobile games i've ever played it's uh like i said it's really smooth um the combo system is not much hard at all you know and uh yeah when i played reaper, reaper 2 pvp on for uh mobile i wasn't having a hard time at all other than the fact that i was just lower level but i think if i actually max out on reaper 2 i can be one of the top players when it comes down to pvp just like how i was in shando life but um uh, yeah like i said reaper 2 is a, is a sleeper bro you guys should try it out it's uh it's actually for mobile it's actually really good it's really good only thing i would i would change like i said the rectangles they need to change at the circles the rectangles take up so much space on your device is like kind of annoying you know but i mean other than that it's not really that bad at all and uh yeah all right number two i'm putting project slayers this is probably gonna some people probably say project slayers is number one and I, honestly i would um i do you know i, I kind of I, i'm not gonna say i agree with it obviously probably i think is another game better than the product slayers when it comes down to mobile but i'm just saying the only thing about product slayers the only thing like that about product slayers that like puts it down from number one is certain disadvantages it has you know when you try to indomitable will you have to it's, it's very hard to land an indomitable will in the combo unless you um i have a setup to where i put the indomitable will indomitable will icon like kind of close to my um icons like my move set icons like the sword and the, and the fist you know at the bottom of the screen but um so it's i can i mean you can kind of fix it but it's sometimes where you try to do an air combo switch to indomitable will tap it and it just doesn't work see that's a that's a disadvantage because when you go to pc it works every time that's what i mean by disadvantages so you can get really close to um pc players or product slayers but there's like it's certain disadvantages on it that that is kind of you know it puts it down like another thing when you get hit and i just mentioned this before another thing when you get hit your sprint just randomly stops working i don't know if that's a thing for pc players too but for mobile i get it all the time and it's so annoying and i haven't seen pc players complain about it at all i've only seen it for mobile players and it's so annoying like i said so annoying but other than that party slayers you can you can pretty much compete at the same level as a pc player it's just a few things that put you down but uh, other than that it's not really it's not really much of a disadvantage and i think the fact that you can still compete with, with, with like um very little disadvantages from pc to mobile is what puts a game higher than others you know also another thing they have a customizable gui where you can move your buttons however way you please that's also a plus that's something that uh, the other games i named don't have another thing the aiming is so like I, the aiming on the game is so smooth i love the system that they made it 
the system for aiming on the game is actually so smooth it's one of the smoothest i've ever seen like it's so like if you like at, at the beginning when you're trying to aim like for your first time playing it's going to be super weird because you're not going to understand it but when you start going through your moves and you start understanding it a little bit more you, you will see the aiming is actually so like it's really smooth and when i mean smooth is like it's really like it's you know, it was like you can actually practice it and get good at it. You know, for other games, aiming is so random, you know, like Demon Fall. If you try to use error art on Demon Fall, one of the moves when you try to aim it at somebody, it will just randomly go behind you. Party Slayer doesn't have that at all. Like the aiming is so like it's so crisp and it's so down to like it's so down to the T. Like it's really nice. It's really nice. And all my Party Slayers players, they, they know they know that this this the aiming and most other things for mobile is really good, really good. So like I said, the only thing that puts that number two is certain disadvantages. You know, Indomitable Will, the sprint randomly going away. But other than that, it's not really hard. And then the number one, uh, one that people don't even talk about for real, Shindo Life. Shindo Life is probably the, um, Shindo Life is my favorite, not Shindo Life, Shinobi Life 2 is my favorite um, uh, anime game on Roblox of all time. Shindo is still cool, but um, just putting, you know, Sh Shinobi Life 2 and Shindo is pretty much the same thing. Just Shinobi Life 2 is more Naruto, but you know, I'm pretty sure you guys know that. But um, in uh, general, Shindo Life, when you learn the mobile controls and you get good at it, like how I, like I pretty, I pretty much mastered it until, you know, I just took a break from it and then I, I, I get destroyed every time now. But if you can, like, if you, even if you take a break and come back and just learn the move sets again, you will still be the, you know, you will still be able to like, compete with PC players the same way. There's not really much other, at, at first, the only disadvantage about being a mobile player was that, um, when you put your when you set your moves to a certain way and you die the moves will reset back to default that was the only thing but now they added a system where you can actually save your buttons so they even made it better so Shindo life is the only game i've seen so far that there is zero disadvantages from mobile to pc aiming if you learn it you can get it you know doing the combos if you're learning you will get it that's that's pretty much how it is i ain't Shindo life is the only game where like from mobile to pc i will literally say skill at you that's it if you're losing to a PC player, skill issue. You can you can say all you want, all they got a mouse, they got da 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 da. I'm not gonna lie, skill issue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, it has no disadvantages. It has no clear cut disadvantages that I've seen that put you lower than a PC player. If you actually learn the game, play it for a while, you don't get the combos now, you'll be just fine. You will be just fine. Like you'll be just fine. I'm sorry, I'm serious. Like if you lose, skill issue. That's all I gotta say. But uh, yeah, this is my top five best um, roblox mobile supported anime games i don't even know if i said that right but uh yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think and uh yeah let me know if there's some other games i to try out that i didn't even name on this list and uh yeah i'm sure this is gonna spark up a certain conversation in the comment section so just let me know i respond to all of them i don't respond to all of my comments but i do read most of my comments so yeah just let me know what you guys think and i will try to respond to everyone that has a question and uh, let me know what other games i should try out and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'm gone